In this video of SolidWorks Electrical 2D, I will show you how to change and save your templates, the View tab options, and how you can modify your Quick Access Toolbar. Begin by going to the Projects Manager. Click on New and pick a template. Then keep clicking OK until you're done. Expand the project that opens and right click on line diagram and then choose another title block. Pick B with rows. Right click on power and choose another title block. Click on filters. By checking the in the class box you are limiting your search to ANSI B size drawings so uncheck that box. If you pick another format it will prompt you if you want to convert units. Instead click choose another and then pick the D without column without row 1. Go to the power drawing and you can see it's much larger. Double click on the middle mouse button to fit the screen. Open the view tab and then pick documents browser, components browser, connection labels panel, symbols palette and macros palette. These are then displayed in the side panel over here. If you think it's too crowded you can move one of these side panels to the other side. To move it back, drag and drop it onto the title of the side panel. Go to the Window tab. Click on Horizontal Tile. This will display the two active drawings horizontally. Click on Vertical Tiles and it will display them vertically. Click this drop down menu to add these shortcuts to the Quick Access Toolbar. Click on More Commands. And in this list, pick Window. Click on Vertical Tiles and then Add. Click on Horizontal Tile and then Add. And then to Remove, click on Horizontal Tile and pick Remove. Close this when you are done. These commands are now available in the Quick Access Toolbar. Close the drawings. Right click on Drawing List and then choose Delete. Click OK. Now you can see that these drawings need to be renumbered. To do this right click on the book and then choose Renumber Drawings. Then click OK. Go to the Projects Manager and close the current project. Click on the project and choose Save as Template. Rename it and then click OK. Click OK again. Now when you go to create a new project, you can pick this new template you have created. As you can see, the template has carried over. To add another document to this project, right click on Document Book, go to New, and then pick Wiring Line Diagram. This will add another wiring line diagram. You can move this around in the project and then renumber it. I hope you find this video helpful.